podcast. And he talked quite a bit about his research on prolonged fasting in both rodents and also in humans and, and how the prolonged fast, at least in rodents, is 48 hours, which in humans is around four days, four to five days. And that was able to very robustly not only activate autophagy, but also cell death. And that was followed by a regeneration period. Um, but the question is, do we know what the minimum amount of fasting time is for humans or rodents that can activate autophagy. So for example, when I'm not pregnant, I usually followed a very time-restricted eating schedule where I like to eat all of my food within at least 10 hours. And then I fast for 14 hours every night. Yeah. Some people do even more strict. They eat within eight hours and they fast for 16 hours. Does that 16 hour fast induce any autophagy in any of our tissues? Is there any evidence? Do we know? We don't know. So, uh, Craig Thompson published a paper uh, on circumdian variations in hepatic autophagy. Uh, so, you know that mice uh, don't eat uh, during the day and they eat during the night. Uh, so, the in entire cycle is inversed. Uh, and he observed that as a result of not eating during the day, there was more autophagy in the liver. Uh, so this result is intriguing. Uh, it has not been, to my knowledge, uh, extrapolated to other organs. Um, and uh, it cer certainly requires uh, more profound studies. Okay. When you so say what we the... did uh, on circulating leukocytes is um, uh, that we needed to wait for three or four days uh, to see a massive induction of autophagy. Uh, there's a fundamental difference between rodents and humans. Um, so the two days that you have been alluding to cause a 20% weight loss in mice that are at this time point at the verge of death. Another day would potentially kill them. And so 20% is a lot. Imagine this for yourself. In two days. Yeah. In in four days, uh, a human being uh, only loses uh, one to two percent of um, his or her weight. Is that because they have a higher metabolism, rodents do? Or? Yeah, it's uh, certainly linked to the change in the surface volume ratio that uh, uh, is classically associated with an accelerated uh, metabolism. Hmm.